Good morning, YouTubers. You have reached the Brian Sledge channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye. On active duty, I was an aircraft maintenance officer, and in the Guard, I was a combat search and rescue helicopter pilot. What types of discrimination did you face? Um, as an aircraft maintenance officer, I had a commander who, the first thing he ever said to me right when I met him was that when my time of the month got in the way of my job, he was going to fire me and replace me with someone else. That was kind of how I started my aircraft maintenance career. Yeah, there was an, an aerial gunner, so it's a position in our in our aircraft um, on my first crew in Afghanistan who said he didn't want to fly with a woman because he didn't think I could um, handle myself or carry, carry my own weight, so to speak, um, in an evasion scenario. So being a helicopter pilot, you know, you're really close to the ground and, you know, there's a chance that you could be shot down, you know, on the ground and, and having to evade the enemy. Um, it didn't really make any sense because I had been through survival training, and that's the survival evasion resistance escape, which is very intense training, and did just fine. In fact, I was in command of, uh, I was uh, second in command, so when they split the group in two, I was in command of half of the group. So it didn't make any sense, and, and, I, and I also, you know, I, I talked to him about it, and, and I was like, I don't, I don't understand why you would think that I wouldn't be a good part of the team. I've demonstrated that I can. I carried the same exact pack, really heavy pack, over the mountains that you carried. You know, I'm I'm an expert marksman with my rifle and my handgun. I have been studying, you know, the local vegetation. I know what we can eat. I know where to find water. I've even been picking up a little bit of the language. Why wouldn't you want me on your team? You know, and he just couldn't um, specify, you know, why he didn't think I would be able to carry my weight. But that's why repealing the ground combat exclusion policy is so important because having a policy that says that bars women from being in combat sends a message to our troops that women aren't fit for combat and you know he can he can take that discriminatory behavior and say hey I'm not you know it's something personal I'm not trying to discriminate I'm just saying what the Secretary of Defense says which is this isn't where you're where you belong so that was a uh, difficult to overcome I did end up flying with him and in 2009 we were shot down. Uh, he wasn't on my crew, but I was shot down with a different crew, and we were in a ground combat scenario. And I absolutely held my own, and you know, fired back at the enemy, and maintained my composure. And I was actually the only one hit, so I was also kind of covered in blood, and I was totally fine. I'm literally at this point shoulder to shoulder with special forces, literally watching each other's backs, um, and just a part of the team. So I kind of disproved disproved his theory that I wouldn't do well in a ground evasion scenario. So. I love shooting. It's a passion that I have. It's a lot of fun. I remember the first time when I shot, I was shaky and a little worried and intimidated because I was the only girl was along with my friend. And once I shot, that feeling of release was just amazing. And I loved shooting from then on. I worked hard. And being a freshman, I have the black rifle, which is really special. When you shoot above a 70 twice in a row, um, you're standing. You get the chance to earn a black rifle. It's kind of like an upgrade. All the upperclassmen have it, and I always wanted one. And there's currently three freshmen that have one right now, so I'm happy. Um, women in the military, you shouldn't be afraid. If you're a woman, go out there and have fun. 
I was a little intimidated by being in ROTC. A lot of people in eighth grade were saying, oh, they're not going to take you. You're a small little girl. And I was going to show them that I can do anything. Um, girls are very powerful. And you give them a rifle, they can shoot very well. We are very determined. And we are able to push on tests. And it's very nice being, being a woman and being in ROTC. Um, today we are just practicing some moves that we do on a regular basis, like on our drill card. There's no like differentiation between males and females, like because we're all kind of like the same. Like we're all treated the same. We're not treated any different than the males are. It's pretty nice because I don't feel like I'm. Oh, you're a female. Uh, it's it's okay. You can do this like easier, easier for you. No, we're like together. It's awesome. I think it's good because like a lot of men don't think women can do it but they go out and prove themselves and so it shows that women can do more than what men think they can. Today we're running the obstacle course that uh, one of our cadets did uh, rebuild and teamwork is our main building exercise for today. Never underestimate anything. I came here with the mindset, hey, I can do this. <laughs> Kicked my butt, but I got up and I kept on rolling. And really, no matter what, if you're a woman, you have asthma, you have a heart murmur, you know, there's nothing you can't do, really. You, you just gotta set your mind to it. You, just, you can do it, you're awesome. You're a woman, you know? You're, you're so different. You gotta, make, you gotta make it who you are, really. I would tell them to focus on competency and channel any bit of anger or resentment against people who are trying to hold you down just by nature of your gender. I would also warn them against thinking automatically it's because of your gender. You need to first consider that they're trying to stop you because you, you're not good enough. And, and once you can answer that question for yourself and look at yourself in the mirror and go, no, actually I'm, I'm good enough and I'm doing the job. It's the last thing that you should expect. Um, however, when it becomes obvious that that's what it is, just channel that into proving that person wrong. There's nothing more embarrassing for a guy who stands up in, in his group of his band of brothers and says, this person should not be here. Nothing more embarrassing for him than when you do better than everybody else. This group wants women to have the same opportunities to serve in more than 230,000 positions across the armed forces that are illegal for them to fill. Because I care about the world your daughter is going to grow up in. I want her to grow up in a world where she's not limited by her gender. She's only limited by her qualifications or lack thereof. Recore, hoorah! Awesomeness.